Hey, what's up guys? It's Baina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the decorating trends of 2021. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't do trends. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do my own thing. Okay. Number one, I agree with you. Always do your own thing. But number two, whether you like it or not, or realize it or not, you are influenced by the decorating trends because those trends become what's available in stores. What you This is a return to cozy traditionalism. And I think this has a lot to do with COVID, honestly, because COVID dominated our lives in 2020. And what did we learn among many different things? We learned that home is king. We learned that our home is our sanctuary. So I think people are going back to this idea of traditionalism, cozy comfort, because it gives us a sense of stability, it reminds us of our past. And the style that is gonna be dominating in 2021 is called grand millennial. I've never heard of that. It's a new term. I'm obsessed with it and it's a fancy way of saying granny chic, which means that at my apartment, my granny chic apartment with my white sofa was in, honey. Okay, I was ahead of the curve. Anyway, what you're gonna see with the grand millennial style is a lot of traditional pieces of furniture, lots of pattern, think floral wallpaper, kind of like, I guess, like a modern updated version of like English country, like traditional, but we're keeping it fresh by always making sure that we add in those millennial staple pieces. Things like your mid-century velvet sofa or a modern coffee table or some cool modern lamps, things to keep it out of the granny, but with a nod to granny. We're gonna be seeing a lot of blues. We're gonna be seeing a lot of greens, forest greens, maybe I'm even on the walls. Here's an image of some Ottomans that are new right now at Anthropology, and all of these colors are literally the colors that we're going to be seeing in 2021. See? So you're already being influenced because they're in stores now in those colors. This next living room example I absolutely love. I just think that olive color painted on the fireplace is so genius and that mustard. And of course, one of my favorite staples, the camel colored is so yummy for 2021. I love a warm palette. I feel like it gives you a lot more flexibility when you're trying to create a warm and cozy interior. And again, warm, cozy, livable is all about 2021 and I. So I think this obviously still has a lot to do with this idea of like not going outside a lot, coming inside. So we want escapism through nature. People are wanting to have spaces that feel really comfortable. They're very organic. They're healthy. It feels like you're bringing the nature indoors, but it's also not fussy, not difficult to clean. Lots of plants, lots of greenery. You can translate this idea of lighter wood furniture being popular through any style. So if you're into japan style, you can incorporate those lighter wood tones. It works beautifully with Scandinavian style as well. The shabby, chic, rustic cottage vibe is actually kind of going to be replacing farmhouse as well. So if you're bringing natural materials into your home, jutes, wools, linens, light wood colors, marble, anything you would find in nature, that's very in tune with what we see happening for 2021. very strong in 2020 and it's not going anywhere for 2021 and that is an emphasis on curved and rounded furniture things that are postmodern and think 1980s so geometric furniture is still very much in you can do this whether you are modern or more classical just by focusing on pieces that are more pared down less detailed and have more dramatic shapes okay so we see this a lot in seating and in lighting as well this style is modern but can be incorporated into every style um, crate and barrel has some sofas that are very much in line with this that are just more of a tapered down streamlined clean yet very comfortable and universal style of furniture that kind of works in a lot of settings 
And then the last trend for 2021 is this idea of integrated living. So our house is not going to be section office. This is my home office. This is my living room. This is this dining room. It's more of bringing multi-use functions to each space. According to El Decor, home gyms are really, really hot right now. Everybody's asking for those to be incorporated with their designers. And it makes a lot of sense. Again, trends come about based on what's happening in our lives. We've been dealing with COVID can't go to your gym. And so this idea of having all these separate rooms for different activities is kind of going out the door. And instead we're embracing this idea of a beautiful workspace that is incorporated into the living room or into the kitchen, more so as the way that we're like evolving the way that we live in our homes. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like any of these directions or have already started to see this in 2021. If you're one of those people that's gonna ignore it all, thinks it's stupid and you wanna just do what you want, let me know as well. I basically agree with you. I'm just, I got to share what's happening because that's, I mean, why not? You know, let's have fun with it, not take it so seriously. At the end of the day, it's your house. It's your money. It's your life. You guys do what you want to do. Thanks so much for watching. Definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.